Hey guys, over the years, many heroes have been added to Battlefront 2, with each of them being unique and having different playstyles. But not every hero is the same when it comes to power, so that's why I'm ranking all 22 heroes in Battlefront 2. This ranking is based on how well I think the average player does with them. Of course, each of these characters can suck if you've barely played them, but each hero can also dominate in the right hands. If you're only interested in seeing who the top people are, you can check out the timestamps on this video and skip ahead to the end. This also goes without saying that this is totally my opinion and not everyone will have the same list. But make sure to leave a comment down below this video telling me who your favorite characters to play are. Also, I would really appreciate it if you left a like on this video if you enjoyed it, as it helps me out. And of course, if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe as I post multiple Star Wars gaming videos a week going over tips, discussions, and gameplay. But now, getting into the video. As the worst character in Battlefront 2, we have BB-9E. BB-9E is a strong support character who can play the objective well, but is useless beyond that. Its main ability, Shock Spin, only throws people away and does little damage. Its best ability would be Smokescreen, though. It is useful for objectives and playing with other heroes. BB-9E's main problem is it's really hard to go on a kill streak with BB-9E since none of its abilities are good for multi kills and his time to kill with his regular attack is really low. In heroes, he can't really take care of other heroes, but if he is with someone else, he is a big help with this knockdown and stun. At 21, the second worst character is Phasma. Phasma is not a bad hero. She just isn't great. She has good health, but her blaster just doesn't match up to anyone else's blaster. Her staff strikes can do some damage, but are very situational. Her main claim to fame is her sentry droid, which locks on and shoots at people from far away, and will also stun anyone that gets too close. This can be good, but this ability also tends to lead to a lot of camping with Phasma players. Overall, her abilities can be easily countered, and she is far from the best in any game mode. Now, just breaking the top 20 is Lando. Lando is a step up from Phasma. His blaster is a bit better, and his stun can be better or worse depending on who you ask. What makes Lando better is his Sharp Shot, which is a powerful ability that can lock onto multiple targets. It's great for multi-kills and doing heavy damage to other heroes. Now at 19, we have Chewbacca. Chewbacca is one of those heroes that can do little without his abilities. His furious bowcaster can turn his blaster into a beast, but without it, it's one of the worst blasters in the game. His other abilities are decent, but what he is definitely good at is being a tank. He can take a lot of damage, especially with his star cards. He is a hero that can be great in the right hands, but to your average player, he just can't do much. At 18 is the better of the two BBs, BB-8. BB-8 is definitely better than BB-9E, but runs into some of the same problems. His cable spin is great and is one of the best abilities in the game. His scanner and charge are also good, but against anyone that is smart, he can't do much with his abilities. He can do decent with kill streaks, but can also get melted in a second if someone hits some headshots. At number 17 is Bosk. Bosk is very similar to Chewie. His abilities will destroy, but without them, he can get melted in a second. All of Bosk's grenades and mines can melt the hero in any infantry that comes near him, and they are great for clearing out objectives. But then when he doesn't have his abilities, his blaster just doesn't do very much damage and can get overwhelmed very easily by just a couple of enemy infantry. He will also go quickly because of his low health. His blaster can charge up and snipe people, so he is good for that. The best part about him is the fact that he can always regenerate all his health. So even if you get down to one health, you'll be back up to 600 pretty quickly. Now, as the worst lightsaber hero, we have Darth Maul. A lot of people like Maul, but overall, he is just the worst saber hero. His health isn't great, and none of his abilities do very much damage. There just isn't anything about him that is good besides his speed, which doesn't really help him that much. Don't get me wrong, you can still win duels and go on long kill streaks, but he can't just do it as well as anyone else. Having none of his abilities being able to one-shot people isn't great, although it is possible to pull off some decent combos against blasters. He's just never the guy I use when I'm playing the objective or doing a 4v4. But back to blasters, at number 15, there is Finn. Finn can be great or pretty bad. It depends how and when you use him. 
His dead eye is a great ability and he can roll through his enemies using it and overall his blaster is pretty good. But Finn isn't meant to be played as a character that's really aggressive and carries a team with kills. He won't be able to do that given his stats. Finn is best played as a support character. His big deal ability can buff his team with a lot of health and damage reduction, helping the team a ton around the objective. But since most people don't use him the correct way and since his stats just aren't that good, he is pretty low on the list. As the worst light side lightsaber hero, we have Yoda. Yoda is another decent hero. He has slow lightsaber swings, but he has a small hitbox, making him hard to hit by blasters. His abilities are average. He doesn't have the best push, but he does have a good dash and a good health buff that is good for helping Yoda and his allies. So Yoda is another good support character, but he is a difficult hero to do really well with. Continuing with the lightsabers is Count Dooku at number 13. Dooku probably does the most damage with his lightsaber in the game. He can melt anyone really quickly. He also has a third dodge, which allows him to have much better movement than anyone else in the game. His main problem is he has a very little range. None of his abilities have any reach and he has no way to easily close the distance on anyone. Having his only way to deal with a bunch of enemies is his lightsaber is not a good thing and it will always be dangerous. But someone that plays him smart can of course do really well with him. At 12 is the not so chosen one this time, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin has had a huge fall from grace. When he was first released, he was widely considered the best hero in the game and his abilities were really OP. But now Anakin just doesn't have anything that is really that good. His abilities are still decent, but they get easily countered. Even his retribution doesn't do more than one lightsaber hit to a hero, which is ridiculous. Anakin can be good in every situation, but he just isn't great like other characters, so therefore I can't put him any higher on this list. Starting to get into the top half of this list, we have Boba Fett. Boba is a really good and unique character. In the right hands, he dominates. His health isn't great, but his good abilities, jetpack, and blaster help him dominate. Boba never does good in close quarters gameplay, so he definitely is more situational, and his health is low, and he has a low amount of health regen, so he definitely isn't a good pick for playing the objective. Now, just making the top 10, we have Her Highness, Leia Organa. Leia has become a beast. She used to be pretty weak, but she got massively buffed. Her blaster is great. The three round burst motes anyone, and her secondary fire locks onto people far away, and will also do a lot of damage. Her grenades are really powerful, and she can throw three of them quickly and there's a short cooldown. Her E11 is crazy powerful and it probably does the most damage per second in the game of any blaster. It's that good. Her shield is situational, but it can also help her and her allies regen health, so it can be very useful. Leia's health is also good and she has good health regeneration. Overall, Leia is a very well-rounded hero, as you probably noticed after I've gone on about how good I think she is for so long. At 9, we have the Inferno Squad leader, Aiden Versia. Aiden is just barely a step up from Leia, but in my mind, she definitely is the better hero. Her blaster combined with her stun can just be overpowered. Just like Leia, her blaster absolutely melts and her secondary fire is completely uncounterable. Aiden can be a bit weak in super game modes, but her shield will protect her and it helps her out a good bit. She can also snipe with her purse cannon and will melt people on maps like Kray and Geonosis. Like Leia, she is very well rounded, but what really makes her better is her stun. It goes through the block, making it really hard to avoid, and with it you can easily do 300 to 400 damage without headshots, and with headshots times that by 2. That makes her really good for melting people and after she uses that ability on a lightsaber hero, she can finish them off with her unblockable secondary fire. At 8 is the Emperor himself, Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine is the most annoying hero to play against in Battlefront 2. His dodges make him really hard to hit and he's hard to block unless you're a character with a lot of stamina. It's not even like he has a low amount of health. His health is pretty average. His chain lightning is great for multi-kills and he can kill multiple infantry instantly. He really has no weaknesses and it's really easy to do well with him. As the best blaster in the game, we have Han Solo at number 7. His blaster has a slower rate of fire than most of the best ones, but each shot does a ton of damage. Plus, it has really good range. 
His detonate and shoulder charge are both very useful abilities. His sharp shot isn't my favorite, but it's not the weakest ability. What makes him great against other heroes is his third roll, which makes him really hard to hit if you know how to time your dodges properly. Just outside of the top 5 is Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren has great crowd control abilities. He can get easy kills with his frenzy and his freezing pole can control a room. All of his stats are pretty good. There's not much to say about him. He has normal crowd control abilities and can work really well in any game mode. He's just a solid choice for a hero. He is usually the hero I choose when I'm by myself and want to sweat because he doesn't have overpowered abilities, yet he is definitely still a strong character. Now getting to the top 5, the best of the best, is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan is great not for his abilities, but for his survivability. He can regen a lot of health, so when he gets into dangerous situations, he tends to come out just fine. He also has some of the most stamina and can really be blocking for a long time. His abilities go along with this. His push grants him damage reduction, which actually works compared to Anakin's heroic might, and his rush blocks and even deflects all regular attacks. His mind trick to top it all off makes it really hard for his enemies to do a lot of damage since they can't use their abilities. Obi-Wan is a character that is just a great character at any time because it is so hard to kill him. Ray Skywalker is next at number 4. Ray plays very similarly to Obi-Wan but with a bit less survivability and a bit more aggressive abilities. Her dash doesn't block but it does knock down enemies and it allows her to do at least one extra hit on an enemy and usually two hits. Her mind trick allows her to still use abilities, but their controls are inverted and their sensitivity is set to a really low amount. Rey's main ability that makes her really good is Insight, which reveals all enemies to her. This ability lasts a while and has a short cooldown, making it so that you can have it on more than you have it off. In Trooper game modes, this helps her out so much since she knows where to get kills and how to defend or attack an objective. But it also reveals the enemies to the rest of her team so everyone can know where to defend or attack an objective. This ability also helps in hero game modes since it gives her extra stamina and in heroes first villains her team can always know where the enemies will be. Ray with her aggressive abilities makes it really easy to get kills. As the best light side hero we have Luke Skywalker at number 3. Luke is the only other light side hero with more aggressive abilities than Rey. His knockdowns can deal a lot of damage to his enemies quickly, and his dashes and speed help with that a lot. He doesn't regenerate a lot of health, so you can't stay in dangerous situations too long. So his playstyle is usually just run in, use his abilities, and get out. Now as the second best character, we have General Grievous. Grievous is just an incredibly good hero. He's very difficult to beat. You do have to get used to him having very little blocking stamina so you need to learn to play him by dodging around and using his abilities. His abilities can be great and are perfect for doing a lot of damage. His big amount of damage is just what immediately catapults him to being one of the best heroes in the game. As the true greatest character in the game, we have Darth Vader. There is no way you can argue that Darth Vader isn't the best hero. He has no weaknesses. His health, stamina, damage, and abilities are all just great. His abilities are high damage and allow for easy combos and his health and stamina give him a great amount of survivability. With all of this, he becomes the perfect hero and is really hard not to do well with. But that's all 22 heroes in Battlefront 2 ranked. On the screen now, you can see the final rankings. In the comments, you can tell me what an idiot I am and how greatly I messed up this list. But that's all for this video, so see you guys next time. Bye.